people um, look at you and they look at the interest that you've displayed in American politics over the years, the fact that I think you, uh, you met up with um, uh, John McCain during his campaign, I think that was facilitated by uh, Paul Manafort. And they ask themselves, why, why is this man so interested in the presidential process in the United States? What do you hope to get from that? What do you hope to achieve? Maybe it may be subject of a um, different interview. I'm sorry, but still I'm a little bit more than focused on, on, on my issue. We can, we can, we can have a talk on, on a broader you know, issue, but it's not something which you know, I'm interested in. And most of this allegation, yes, they use my brand. I am successful from Russia. I know a lot of people. I've been lucky that uh, channels like you always been interested in my opinion on the market, on, on economy. Yeah, they branded me. It was so easy. You know, there is a bad Russia, malign activity, and there is bad Russians. If you would mention any names from the street, from the street of Moscow, who would care? Of course, no one. They decided to use my name, okay? But now I try to see how your, I mean, U.S. legal system will respond. It's a very simple process. Justice Department, Justice Department will present facts. I hope that they will not hide behind this national interest, uh, whatever. The, you know, the spying source. I'm a businessman. I'm an entrepreneur, industrialist. You know, what? What can prevent them to prevent, you know, to put the facts and lie down in a simple, you know, file to the court and judge would see? Was it enough you know, to put, was it qualified, you know, again with these two executive orders which have been used, you know, to put sanction on main companies or not? These two things are connected though, and, and I understand why you're reticent perhaps to talk about it, but in many ways, the reason why the sanctions were imposed in part were because you're perceived to be the person you, that you are. So I think it's relevant to, to ask you the question. I mean, the, the former uh, CIA station chief here, Steve Hall, who was in Moscow, I think talked about you and Manafort and the connection between you and Manafort and said, if you want to understand this, this is like the connection between uh, Putin and Trump. Now, why would he say something like that if there wasn't a perception that um, somehow you're connected? I mean, how do you respond to those kind of comments? It's like, it's, you know, oral kind of story. Very absurd. Manafort provides some service for company which I as an investor founded all the relation was over like seven or eight years ago maybe more no relation after 2011 I checked the only interest my lawyers had is to find him and try to file and you know, you know and, and recover this money which was uh, improperly uh, taken as a credit and never return, you know, or this investment which never happened. And it's quite big sort of money, 50 million. And then this action in, uh, in April, when literally, you know, after, you know, I've been caught from any access to the justice, you know, legal firm needs to have a uh, license. Uh, no legal firm wants to be part of it because it will damage the other client and, and this narrative, you know, of course, will, will affect their reputation. It was very hard. When you ask me why it takes one year, you know, it takes me nine months to find a lawyer who is ready to take this case. And then I saw it and I repeat and m my people publicly make available uh, information that uh, September 16th, there was nice intrusion in the morning when I came to, you know, to be part of UN conference uh, on climate. In 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 my house, where I'm staying, 
and and start asking me these stupid questions and you know just you know, it's, it's absurd. <laughs> where is Manafort? Where is Russia? And and the way you it was even in a time when uh, I think your president was like twelve point below Hillary Clinton begin in the beginning of uh, September, and it's still going on. Yes, it's again it's kind of in a brand issue. They use the Repasca brand and use this narrative, and it's look like much. But I'm surprised that you're saying that the guy who is a part of your intelligence wouldn't see the difference between the facts and if type of statement which journalism now in the US do not tend to you know, produce. So in, in your opinion, this is just muck spreading. You, you, these allegations that continue to crop up connecting you with that 2016 campaign and Paul Manafort and special briefings which apparently turned up in an email uh, none, none of this is true, in your opinion. This, this is journalists and of course, uh, and, this and, is, and, uh, and this is U.S. Uh, senators uh, who, are, who are just spreading falsehoods. What U.S. You know, senator, you mean? Well, there is a lot of senators. Yes, and, and well, and, uh, as, as, congressmen, uh, various. Yeah, I, said, I said, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to hear the facts. I'm ready to come. Then they start making this charade that I was asking immunity, blah, blah, blah. I didn't ask anything. You want to you wanna have a straight answer, the same as I did 2016 when FBI you know, came and started you know, questioning me you know, on, on anything like that, you know, and I said that it's absurd, and I gave them argument, which people you know, should listen. No one, no one wants to, to hear the fact, but you have... Uh, you know, your, your, your gentleman Mueller, I mean, sorry, not yet, US, US attorney, you know, he will produce the facts, and I'm sure that the facts come in soon. These questions keep coming up over and over again, and it's almost like people don't feel they've heard the answers. I mean, um, what was your relationship to Konstantin uh, Kilimnik? I mean, did he pass any Trump polling information to you? I never met him. And by the way, when you write, I mean, not you, sorry, <laughs> become a little bit emotional. <laughs> but when journalists write Russian Klimnik, Russian Klimnik, is my understanding from, from open source, he's Ukrainian. I'm not sure, but this is, you know, something which also absurd. Why you would, you know, paint someone as a Russian if he's Ukrainian? But again, I never met him first. I haven't seen Manafort since 2010 or 11. The only purpose for me or my people to have any interest in his, you know, you know dealing future was to get money back, which was uh, borrowed from my companies or improperly, you know, taken, you know, from investment, which was done. And it's a big sum, up to 50 million. That's why when I see that some of the, of your colleague, you know, tried to pay in success of uh, Miller Prop, that they've been totally cowed from this sum. For me, it's also hard. It's not the money which been, would be taken from me if it would happen. If I wouldn't find you know, lawyers who will defend my interest. In the emails that were released, apparently uh, Kalimnik wrote an email to Manafort saying you asked him to convey several important messages to Manafort. Me. Apparently. It's a lie. It's not true. It's not true. A and the it's absurd. Look, you know, no, let, let's state the fact. Yeah. Manafort, last consultants, which not tens of millions, which not all this bald dash in advance and blah, 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 Russian state, it's total bald dash. Never happened, never offered. Last consultants was in Africa, and not very good because was no result. 2011. Never seen him after. And my view, after that, he was totally, even again, reading from the open source, he was totally focused on Ukraine, on Ukrainian client, sorry, the U Ukrainian clients. It's obvious. It's obvious for anyone who wants to, for any investigative journalist who will go and check what these people were doing there. They have a bunch of their clients. 
And I'm sure this client's offers is this caviar. I'm not eating caviar. So there were no political favours done for you in return for the financial debt or obligation that Paul Manafort incurred to you. That's what's been implied, largely, that he supplied you with information Absolutely. about the campaign because there was a financial obligation to you that he couldn't pay. Absolutely not absurd. So just let me underline this. Do you have any knowledge that Paul Manafort or uh, Mr. Kalimnik were working for a Russian secret agency or possibly the GRU to further the government's interests? No. You have no information or you don't believe that to be the case? And I don't believe. I have no information I don't believe. You've talked about why you think... And I told this. September 16, when I'd be taken by surprise when the three FBI gentlemen intruded into my house claiming that they're my friends to a lady who manages the house. So you've told the FBI Straight, this? Straight. September 16. I think it was 2014, September 16.